We got to come out and we got to play Colonel football. I, I really think, and we haven't established that yet. A guy's about playing for each other, and uh, if we do that and we really play as a, as a family and we play as and a team, we talked about that all week, and we just got to be able to stay together. And we got to be able to trust each other, and if we can do those things, good things are uh, ahead for this football team. He's got that football background. Family grew up with it, with his grandfather and with and with his dad being a coach, and he does a good job. He understands the game, and it makes it very difficult to prepare when you have that big guy who wants to pull the ball and, and run it also and who can stand back in the pocket and throw some darts out there. So we'll, we'll have our work cut out for us. Maybe we have some guys who make some plays and slow him down a little bit. Damian Jean-Pierre will get the start along with Terry Lucas at receiver. It's a play action to open the game. Rolling left, deep ball down the field, left sideline. Jean-Pierre reception at the 30. The game is underway with a 45-yard strike. What an eye-opening play, especially the play call by Rob Christopher to go right at Jean-Pierre. He's in motion left to right. They'll fake the handoff. A sweeping run. Nice block. Figaro loose. 20, 15, 10, 5. Two plays. Six points. 75 yards. Touchdown, Colonels. 24 seconds into the game. Can't do it much better than that. You asked that they were going to open up today. Tell you what, two great plays. Jean-Pierre went in motion. They faked the jet sweep. And what a job by that offensive line pulling out there. A couple key blocks and a block on uh, by Stephen LaBeouf and Toscani untouched into the end zone. Conk poses some different problems. You talk about a prototype quarterback, 6'6", 237. Last week he rushed for 100 yards through three touchdowns, so he can do it both, uh, both with his arm and his leg, so he's going to be uh, definitely a target for this defense. He's passed for just shy of 4,000 yards in 18 games in his career, but he is mobile, and he's really going to look to take advantage in these read options. He's got three receivers on first down. It's to easily going wide left, and he's eliminated after a loss of a yard. Can Kenny Dotson in for the tackle for loss. It's third and 14 from the Colonel 38 with four receivers. And Adams showing blitz. He'll drop four-man pressure, throw to the right sideline. Complete for a first down. Sylvester cuts to the 21, tackled at the 20. Pickup of 18 yards on a tight throw by Conk. Yeah, sometimes you got to tip your hat to a quarterback. Conk put that in between three defenders. And a uh, nice throw and catch right there and turns it to a big first down on a third down and 14. Here we are, third and long from the 22. Another short pass, right sideline easily, and Abair won't let him get away this time. It's a loss of one, fourth down, and now a fascinating scenario for a Stephen F. Austin team that has not made a field goal all season. Fourth and 14 from the 23 with four receivers. He will. Four man pressure. Cock looking in zone. Deep pass to Sylvester. Knocked down. Amani Martin with the breakup. Colonel Stand. Nichols takes over with 9.43 left in the opening quarter. It's a strong defensive line. They have haven't had their best season, and now on second and five, play action pass over the middle to John Pierre. He reaches up, catches it at the 45, and John Pierre has 15 more yards to add to his total. He's down at the 31. That's another pickup of 43 yards by Damien John Pierre. <laughs> Damien John Pierre, two catches for 84 yards. He has to exit the game. And now Chandler Arsenal, one of the more stable positions on the offensive line this season. Now the Colonels in jeopardy of losing their right tackle. Third and goal from the one with Henry in it running back. He'll get the carry, spin left, hey. stay up, and reach the end zone for his first touchdown of the season. That's four touchdowns in two games against Stephen F. Austin for Michael Henry. It is 13 to nothing, Nichols. And how you like that? Two drives, well executed, and Henry, I, I don't think you could have put 15 guys out there and he wasn't going to stay out the end zone that time. Second and nine, tight end and a fullback. It's a handoff off right, a lot of room, and a fumble at the goal line. It's in the end zone, rolling around. Colonel's come up with it. One big play after another. And that time, a couple Colonels hit him. I think A Bear was there, put his helmet on the football, it squirted out. One of the linemen had a chance to jump on it for Stephen F. He missed it, and the Colonels got on it, and that'll be a touchback. The Colonels will have it at the 20. Clock under a minute. In quarter number one, Nichols trying to preserve the first quarter shutout. Easley will join Conk in the backfield as his running back with four receivers. It's a pass over the middle, wide open, caught at the 15, breaking to the 10, outside the numbers, five and into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Justice Liggins, his third of the season. He's got 12 catches on the year, but he has been the number one target in the opening quarter for Stephen F. Austin. 
Second and eight, four-man pressure. Figueroa wants to design, keep it, and he snaps back to the 35 and 30, turns away from two more defenders to get to the 23. Spin cycle, first down, Toscani Figueroa with 16 more yards. And that's the Toscani Figueroa we've been waiting to see. We've seen flashes of it this year, but today, and I think it's that early uh, success he had, and right now he's just playing out there free and easy like he knows he can play, and it's a joy to watch when he's playing like this. Tell you what. Uh, it doesn't get any better like than that. Lucas, Watson, they're lined up wide left. It's Lofton in the backfield. Third down from the 10. Got Pass it. Pass left sideline for a touchdown, and why not? The Daryl Watson show continues. Third reception of the drive, 20-7, to Colonels. And that was perfect execution. Three receivers on that left side. Watson was in the middle. A blown assignment. You saw the Lumberjack coaches hollering for somebody to get over there. They were misaligned. And credit to Scotty. He picked out the right guy. Watson was open. You asked who was going to take over for Jean-Pierre. Question was answered on that drive. Number three, Darrell Watson the second. First and ten. It's going to be a keeper by Conk. A lot of room. Hebert bumps it loose. Another fumble force picked up by Nichols. 50, 45, 40. Sanders is down at the 32. Jeffrey Hebert, what can't he do? <laughs> That's at least two times he has stripped it out. Conk just got hit again. And, boy, three huge turnovers. And I mean, you just can't do it any better than the Colonel defense is doing it. Clock under a minute, fourth and inches. This is the ball game. Left hash snap. Conk keeps it, and he's got a first down. He's to the goal line, and just short. First and goal at the one. I mean, they got a big jumbo package in there right now. From the goal line, 30 seconds to go. Conk, snap, rushes to the right. He's at the goal line and in. Touchdown, Zach Conk. Stephen F. Austin has a lead with 26 seconds to play. Time to take a knee. Zach Conk on the field. 17 seconds remaining, 28-24, Stephen F. Austin, and that'll do it. Well, we just got to do a better job of uh, keeping it up the second half. We started off real strong, both offensively and defensively, and uh, we just got to come back next week and make sure we can finish the game. Yeah, we just got to finish. Uh, you know, same things, penalties. Uh, you know, just a miss here and there, and you know, everyone kind of took their turn making their mistake, and they add up. We're getting better every week, and we can tell. You know, we're just going to come back next week and play even harder, and uh, we're going to finish the game. You know, we're banged up. We've had some injuries. And they've kind of accumulated, but, you know, it's a next man up kind of thing, and we just got to finish. We were competitive all the way up to the end, you know, last seconds of the game, and that's that's an improvement. Now, that's not – we expect to be better than right. that already, but at least we're moving in the right direction, and we got one next week that we expect to win. And, um, you know, we just got to keep on improving and finish it next week.